Well, Kayla, congratulations on making finals. Um, I'm sure your teammates have spoken a lot about it. And coming here in your first season, you must be really thrilled to achieve that. Yeah, last week's game was crucial. It was awesome to get the win and really lock in um, a berth to finals. And yeah, like you said, it's my first season, but I know how much it means to the team and to the club. And for me, just to play my part and just what I want to do was make an impact. And I'm really, really loving my time here. And to get that berth into finals is so good, but we're not done yet. We have a lot more work to do. I guess achieving finals, what was the overriding emotion after full time? Was it a combination of relief, jubilation? I think after the final whistle, we were just so excited. Um, of course, there's a little bit of relief because now I know last year, the girls and the team, they were waiting on final results from other games and it wasn't really up to them. And so for us this year, going into the end of season and having one more game, but locking in that finals with two games left, that's really it's it's really good to have because and you had that little sigh of relief so yeah it was it was really nice and i mean after izzy had that little uh celebration and that talk to the fans just thanking everyone and you saw that um video of her just like showing her excitement and emotion we all felt that and we all had that too wonderful um and the performance itself how did you see that against victory might have been a little bit of a slow start but for most of the game you're in control and, and really killed the game just after half time yeah we we did have a slow start um but we knew that they were going to press high as well so we just kind of had to ride that wave and i think we did that very well um scoring three goals against them isn't easy as well and we really we had a, some sort of redemption as well because we lost big time to them in the beginning of season so we aren't the same team we were in the beginning so we had a, a point to prove and we had, again, a point to prove that we're going to make finals. We're a team to be feared. And I think we really showcased that. And overall, just a great team, great team effort. I think once we are really connecting and passing the ball and have that intention and that relentlessness for, um, in between each other and for each other, uh, there's just really no limits to what we can do. And yeah, obviously you mentioned thrilled to achieve that objective, making finals, but how hungry are you for more team success and how confident do you think the team can go and make a bit of a run and potentially win it? Mm -hmm. I think that we're very hungry. Again, we're not content with where we are. I think every single practice and every single game we're getting better, we're connecting a little bit more. And um, I think that we still haven't even hit our peak, which is sometimes interesting and hard to say. Um, there is still time. And I think again, when we're playing our best, there is no limit that we can reach. And I think that we can make it all the way to the last game and I think that we definitely have that hunger and that talent to win a championship for the first time. Yeah. And obviously it's still one game left of the regular season, Sydney FC, probably the, the benchmark mm. team, have been top for pretty much the whole season. What are you expecting against them and do you think it's a good indication of finding out where your team's at? <laughs> Personally, I'm happy that we're playing them last. Again, we're finally hit, we're hitting our stride, so it's probably the best time for us to play them. Um, they're a great team, um, well coached, and just they have a lot of talent. And so I think that we're going to match up well against them. We've had so far a good uh, week of practice, and we're still we're still grinding out those details. But I think it's going to be a great game going into finals. We already have that clinch, so there is a bit of relief there. But at the end of the day, we want to win and we want to get more goals. So we're really in our true form heading into finals. So I. Think I think a lot of us are going in with we're, with the mindset of we have to win this game still we're still trying to play our best and be hungry just a word on your own form and mm. you've, you've started every game since since you've been out of quarantine you've been pretty much amazing and formed a really <laughs> solid partnership how have you found it uh, playing in the a-league women yeah um so it's my first season i think in the beginning i was just trying to find my way um coming off of you know two weeks of quarantine it was rough getting my footing but every single game i think i'm getting better as well um i think i have been consistent too and if i can bring that part of my game having that consistency in the back line that leadership in the back line as well i think that just helps our team and propels them forward and like you said i've loved working with the girls um Matilda is the um, we have this running joke that we're called Michaela Hodgson and that we're just <laughs> we're just uh, relentless in the back. We just will put our bodies on the line. We'll do whatever it takes to prevent the ball from getting to the back of the net. Um, and so forging those relationships and that connection has been crucial in our success, honestly. And um, I'm loving where we're going. And I think as a team, too, we're hitting that form. So I'm really excited for this weekend and moving on um, to the finals. And just finally, how much have you enjoyed Adelaide and Australia away from the pitch? It's more broadly. 
place in the paint. Yeah. It's my first time in Australia and I've honestly been loving it. Uh, the weather, the girls, the everyone has just been so outgoing and welcoming and happy and nice. And for me, um, that's just a perfect fit. And I've, I've loved going to the beach. I've loved the cuisine here as well. So um, I, I don't have anything else to say. It's just been a great experience.